What's going on, everybody? Man's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind in Hero Mode. Last episode, we started and made our way through much ah, of the, ah, ah, the Savage Labyrinth, and I actually did pretty good. Um, I was about to say, maybe my luck's about to run out though, because holy crap, I did not jump into this very well. Let's kill you. I like making like city spots in this place, I find. Not like this particular level, but I mean. Um, I like to just make like a little humble coal that I can like run back to where there's not many enemies. Uh, can I kill you as well? So you think with this light thing is it doesn't last very long. So I could run around for a little while, but I think they turn invisible if you take long enough to attack them. I'm kind of surprised these guys haven't come back yet. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just permanently run around until you kill them. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, there we go. Of course, you had to just completely, like, poop on my ideals. Whatever. Done. 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 Did it. Did it. Oh, he's not even, he didn't drop his lantern yet. Actually, I believie. If we do something like fire or hook shot at it. If you notice, like, the, the target actually aims at his lantern. So, eh, oh, dang it. Oh, come on. Drop it. Drop it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. There we go. Okay, now possess me, asshole. Possess me. Why didn't you see me? Look, I'm right here. Right in front of your stupid face. Oh, Link looks so sad. It's weird. They, they look so taken aback when you, like, approach them without their lunch. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know I'll possess them. What? I say, geez. Totally walking to that light. Wouldn't it be amazing if I could get through this without having to use a single fairy? That'd be really cool. I'd be very proud of myself. I mean, we're already down to a heart and a half, and we definitely have at least, like, well, 10 plus floors for us to do here. Oh boy, I forgot all about the Stealthos. Uh, hmm. How should we deal with this? I guess we should take care of these first. Oh man, there's multiple Stealthos. Thought maybe they'd start off oh, easy here with the same Stealthos. Oh boy. Okay. What about you? What about you? I'm talking about you! Don't know what that is. Um. I mean, I guess we'll deal with these guys the cheap way. It kind of makes sense. <laughs> Crap, I did not mean to press that button. No! But, uh, I meant to throw it there and I meant to drop it the first time. Alright. Stun you. Uh, ooh. Skull hammer. Please. Did we get that off in time? Yeah, there we go. Alright, easy enough. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you, man. I get. Oh, dang it. Oh, I keep getting my buttons mixed up here. Up is down and down is up. I was going to say that. For a second, I didn't think that worked. All right. And Bowser. And it's Castle. Perfect. Look at this giant mace of death and doom. Whee! Still not as impressive as the Dark Knight weapon, in my opinion, though. Oh, oh man. I was complaining last episode, like, oh, I'm so, I can feel it in me bones. I'm so very close. I was about to reach max rupees here. That sucks. There we go. Reached max rupees. That's probably what's going to be for the rest of the game. Because I have nothing left to buy, really. No, no, there's no, like, money sinks or anything, unfortunately. Unless I went to, like, auctions and bet 999 rupees. Just so I could have, like, see some progression in the poopies. But oh well. Dude, if we can make it through this, oh man, there's a lot to do. Oh, you know what? Oh man, if they didn't immediately all just run towards me, this would have been amazing. Dang it. Oh, I don't want to be back against the wall. This would have been really freaking cool to do a hurricane spin. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at him laugh. He just laugh his stupid butt off. That would have been fun nonetheless. So down to a heart. All it takes is one hit from like a dark nut or a moblin, and I'm dead. Or Stalfos. Oh, this is the Wind Temple. I get, is it the Wind Temple? Oh, oh, shoot. Whoa! Oh my good lord. Uh, holy crap. Oh boy. Ah! Oh no! Ah, oh, dang it. I had no idea what to freaking do there. Jeez, that sucked. Good lord. Holy crap, there's so many. <laughs> um. Ooh, actually, might. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy crap, I had no idea! Oh, if only I knew that like 10 seconds ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, did I get them all? Yeah, I totally did. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, our fairies only heal 10 hearts. 
case you didn't know. In case you didn't know. Interesting. <laughs> I was going to say, that's probably going to be assholes. So I guess I don't give any magic here either. Oh, man. No, I don't want... No! Oh, dude, seriously, come on. Oh! Stop being assholes! Oh, you know what? I guess I should be using Fire Ocean Knife because I was using... I was using... Uh, ice thinking, oh, they're just gonna... Uh. <laughs> oh, man, I'm gonna kill this guy like this, actually. I was using Ice thinking, oh, they'll turn to ice and they'll fall and they'll shatter when they hit the ground. But no, they die regardless of what magic arrow you use. If you use a normal arrow, it doesn't do as much damage. Alrighty. Jump a bit down here. Ah, dang it! I was gonna say hurricane spin time, but no. Oh man, there's gonna be no time. And now there's like no point because like these guys are too spread out at this point for me to even warrant using this spin a hurricane spin. I know, I wanna use it really badly to you guys. What would what would have been really cool there is if that giant chew room if I um if I use my skull hammer to stun everyone immediately, and then and then after that, like I used done a hurricane spin, dude, I, that would like crash the game almost. You'd think, cause holy crap, like you could barely handle me hitting all those guys with my sword normally. Whoa! Oh man, oh, I was getting mixed up between throwing those stupid things and using them. Once again, I'm pretty sure the controls were reversed in the GameCube version of this game. I jump down the hole. The poop shoot hole. Oh, I do not like this combo at all, actually. The Stalfos immediately see me. Alright, um. Like, yeah, I guess we're gonna do this. Um, dang it! That's the opposite of what I was hoping would happen. Okay, well, while he's distracted. Since those guys walk so slowly, might as well do it like this. And the only time they seem to do their spin attack is when they're near me, so... Let's run around the edges here. Alright, this is looking pretty well. Do we have a hookshot on our bar? I doubt it. Yeah, we don't. So, say if it's on our bar, you might as well use it to our advantage here. We put it on and then hookshot to these guys, but honestly, it'd probably take less time just to listen to their stupid screams and like, my inventory and blah 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 blah. Every single time! I wanna throw it! I wish to flow! No, I'll do the other one now. Ah, oh, sucks. Sucks to you! <laughs> yeah, like, if I just run around. I just run around. Come on, what the ball says to do? Go! God dang it! Are you goddamn kidding me? Stupid! Come on, come on! How many bombs is this gonna freaking take? Good lord! Yeah, yeah, freaking! Oh! <laughs> That's my frustrated scheme. Anyway. Are you kidding me? Oh, great. Him hitting the bomb automatically activated. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. I was like, oh, well, it's not going to work. I guess I should. So, okay, I was going to say, I better stay. Come on, dude. This is taking way too long to kill one freaking Salphos. No. Comparing my shield instead of my freaking goddamn hammer there. <laughs> whatever. He's dead now. <clears throat> now that I use my fairy, I'm just like, whatever, I don't care anymore. Oh, this might be the last floor. No, you know, it probably isn't. I feel like the last floor is going to probably involve me fighting this dude dark. What the heck was that? Was that the wall? That was weird. Here, once again, deal with... Ah, separate them as much as you can. Moblins run a lot quicker than their dark nuts since they don't have a heavy armor on. Eh. Great. I was like, huh? What happened? <laughs> I guess now that we have max rupees, we can actually go back to the um, auction house and we can spend all our rupees. Like, we could buy out an auction. 
Since the max in those is 999 rupees, that might be fun to do. I probably am going to do that, actually. It's going to be fun. Did he have his sword up again? Was he waiting? Was he trying to look epic in the corner? That's <laughs> so stupid. Uh, see, dude, would look cool if he went saying the freaking story. You know what? I just realized I never did. I never used my grappling hook to see if we grab spoils from these guys. Ooh, you know what I almost forgot to do? Try swinging this. See what each of these gives. Nothing. I only see these pillars or something like cool hidden in them. Really? You guys gonna give me nothing? I think I called the pillars guys. I mean, why can't they be girls? Don't be sexist now. Just kidding. That's stupid. All right. Go down. Oh, I'm calling out. Okay. Um. Arrows, please. Whoa! Didn't expect that. Uh oh, they see me. They're back. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, whatever. Stupid. Yeah, this. Call that. Ah! Woo! Okay, we're good. Nope, this is probably the last floor. Ow. I how evil and ominous is They're just like pure black darkness. That's the evilest of them all because that's racist. <laughs> oh man. You're lucky your friend offended you, asshole. You ass what? I really like how these guys have like palette. Well, they're, they're like palette swaps, but instead of like black skin and red tattoos, they have red skin and black tattoos. That's so cool to me. Whoa, jeez, I did a freaking ton of damage. Right. Eh, that's not what I, that's not the carry I want to do, but whatever. Yeah, is this actually the first time we've seen these dark nuts? It might be, actually. Huh, interesting. I was going to say, did I only drop one sword? <laughs> Where'd the other one go? But it's totally right here. I'm just blind and deaf. I was going to say deaf initially, I don't know why. Is this the end? No, it's not. What the heck is down here? I thought that was the end, to be honest, you guys. <laughs> it was actually funny. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Use that. There we go. Yeah. That's one dealt with. Hello. Hello. I just heard bats for a second. I was real confused. Come on. <laughs> At least, wow, this is not like a, whoops, 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 whoops. No, 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 no. Ah. Well, if I didn't press the freaking wrong buttons. Come on, but. Three guys in a freaking swing your sword, sword, your diamond sword, sword. All right. All right. Yeah. Ah, I totally thought that was gonna. Come on, ah, once again, the wrong button. Wrong button. Hey, dude, guess what? Hey. Ow. Well, I mean, you got your hit, so maybe you'll be happy with that. I don't really know. And dead. <laughs> well, I guess we have a few more floors to go. What is this? What's swinging this look like? I don't remember. Do I like swing it? I feel like it's like a vertical. Yeah, it's like a vertical. That's kind of lame, actually. Can we spin tack with it? Yeah, it looks very effective. Very freaking takes up a lot of space-ish. Ah, uh, this is it. This is totally got me the last room. Oh, seriously, they have lasers. Look at this. Oh, they shoot fire. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what it's time for. Okay, now that I've agitated them all, um, let's try to fight them. Oh, look at look at these guys' helmets. Jeez. The coolest. The coolest. Ooh, boy. Oh, man. I spent the parry there. Ugh. Okay, i got to be very, very careful here. Get as much of their armor as possible here. All right, this guy's seen me for a while. Yeah. Oh no, it's someone with armor on. That's not good. Jeez. Okay, we're out of fairies, I think. Yeah, we are. Oh boy. Okay, this is getting a little bit scary, to be honest. I mean, we should be able to do this unless we get, like, cheap KO here. Alright. This guy seemed the longest, so we should attack first. That's what I figured. Alright. Now you should attack first. Woo! Okay, that fire scared me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Wow, one of these guys still has armor on. Come on. Okay. Okay, that's one dead. One dead. One dead. Alright. Okay, you're going for that. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh, so scary. Okay, um. Grandma! 
I need you to save me in my darkest hour. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm finding these terrifying evil dog demon things. Good. Oh, holy crap. One of them just died. And the other one just died. You stand alone, dog man. Seriously. Grab a sword, please, so I can actually parry you. The armor just looks so freaking intense, too. It's like so heavy looking. It's like, how do guys even fight? These guys are actually really cool. I've never know. I didn't realize these guys shot fire and said, oh, it looks so cool. Yeah, it's one of the, like, three enemies in this game you can't do any damage to. Like, the brambles. There's those guys. What else? I feel like there's another one. Um, I know there is. I just don't remember which one, what it is. <sighs> I don't remember. You got the hero's charm. This mystical trinket gives the ability to see the life force of your foes. Touch its icon, the item screen to equip, equip it. So yeah, something you might be thinking. Well, if you look at that chest, that like the back board there, it totally looks like the bottom of it. You might be thinking, oh, finally, the last item of the game. What? It's not? Actually, go over here. It's actually here. So if you equipped it, you wear this creepy skeleton mask. <laughs> oh, hope there, hopefully there's nothing else there. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think there was anything left to this place. 60 minutes. I actually did take up the majority of this episode. Holy crap. Wow, that was crazy. Um, Back down here. So, yeah, we've collected pretty much everything. 47. Oh, that, oh we do have all the treasure trucks in this game, then. That makes me feel very happy, so I don't have to worry about, oh crap, which treasure chest did I miss? Or treasure charts? Actually makes me very, very, very happy. I should double check that. It is 7x7, seven seven, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, okay. I think I counted that wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I, I know it's a square, so it should be 7x7. Seven seven. Okay, so without further ado, well, I guess let's go get more soup. That might be useful. Because we actually might not be returning here for the rest of the game. Well, until the end when, you know, you inevitably return to your home. Because, you know, that's the ending of, like, every game. Every single, like, ending cutscene to every game ever is, like, you returning home. <laughs> it's really stupid. Everyone like, oh my god, it's insert hero's name here. Returning home. Oh. Alright, Grandma, I need you to give me soup. Yes, please. Yes, please. A well-mannered boy. That's silly. Alrighty then. Holy crap. I can't believe we finished that, you guys. It was a lot closer than I thought it would be. You know what I was thinking about too, though? I was saying that I was scared to do this in hero mode. Because they don't give you hearts. But you know what? They don't give you hearts in there anyways, regardless if you're doing hero mode or not. I mean, they give you a few hearts in between the floors and all that. But it's really not that many. It's probably like an additional like 10 hearts in total you get. In between doing that entire thing. But anyways, you might be wondering, what does a hero's chinket actually do? Well, I guess you guys will probably have fun in the next episode, since I doubt we're going to get to really see it this episode. Alright, we need to go east. So that's going to be this way, right? Since the compass is reversed for whatever stupid reason. I don't get it. I don't freaking get it. What we should do here is we should go look at our treasure charts. Come on. No. Beetle, no. Don't care about Beetle. So I only have two platforms left in the game. We've done it. We've finished off all the Octos. No more Triforce charts here. The only Triforce things we have yet to do is pull that up from the bottom of the sea as well as go to the ghost ship. Ooh, the ghost ship. Ooh. It would have been cool if we got to do that on the Diamond, Diamond Step Island where we got the ghost uh, the ghost ship's map, but oh well. Sucks to be me, I guess. Buy out to the island. There's nothing else I want to do there, right? I don't think so. I mean, we got the hurricane spin. We talked to everybody, essentially. Everyone that was important. We did the giant pig stuff. It's like, I kind of wish there was more for us to do there. I mean, we do have some stuff left to do on Windfile, and so... Definitely not done there. Plus, I mean, you may be thinking, Hey, we're towards the end of this Let's Play. We only have to go to these islands, go collect all the rest of the treasure chests from the bottom of the sea, and then that's the end of the game, pretty much. We go go fight Gandorf. But, uh, that's not entirely true. We do have to... We blue true guide. We gotta do, um... What else we gotta do? Oh yeah, the, the the trading side quest with Zunari. And then well, there's well, I feel like well there's the pictograph guide, but that's gonna be like that's gonna take a while to come out because honestly I have to replay this game after this like from start to finish and 
collect all the pictures of everybody, essentially. All right, so we're heading off to this next square here. I'm guessing it's gonna be this one. Actually, I might, hmm, I this one. I feel like it's this one. It could be that one over there. I don't really freaking know, to be honest. Ah, it is this one. Come up in the distance. What are we looking at? That might be the Forbidden Woods, actually, over there. Ooh, there's a platform over here. Ah, too far out. Well, screw it. It's gonna be one of the last ones in the game. Might as well go here. Even though there's like nothing on these. I don't know why am I here. There's nothing on these. I'm just here to kill all the bad guys and then run away. Isn't that kind of weird? I'm just going from like doing what I was most scared to do and excited. To be honest, I was both scared of doing that. That's what also made it sound really exciting in my head. I'm like, oh, can we do the Savage, Savage Labyrinth in freaking hero mode? That sounds awesome. Oh, we didn't even get to see it there. The Hero's Charm actually allows you to see the health of your enemies you're fighting. And it's kind of unfortunate you get this late in the game. It's like, well, what the heck are you going to do with it? <laughs> I mean, you fought pretty much every boss. I guess we could have gotten it before we went to the Wind and Earth Temple. Oh, yeah, this island. I've been waiting to see this island. Uh, might have gone over it. Yeah, I went over it probably. Come on, Spaniel. Crane right round and round. Eh, try here. Oh, there we go. I was kind of surprised that worked. This island is very memorable to me, too. This is one of the islands I always think about when, like, doing exploration. That and, like, the cabana. Crescent Moon Island comes to mind. You got a piece of hearts for peace. Completing another heart container. Wow. Getting really close to collecting all the heart containers as well. <laughs> for, a second, for a second there, I was like, where is, where's the beam of flight? Oh, there's the fish. Stupid fish. Yeah, yeah, I see you freaking georgs coming at me trying to be buttheads. Come on, Mr. Fish Dude. Alright. What are our items here? What are but yeah, it's definitely really weird coming off like doing the savage labyrinth and jumping right back to exploring the rest of the sea. <laughs> the savage labyrinth is so like significant and it just feels so I don't know. Almost like gives you the same feeling you get after like you've completed temple. Like, yes, that's one more step towards my goal of defeating Ganon. Ganon Dork. Or Bob, I guess I called him earlier in the game. Angular Isles! What do you got for me here, Mr. Mapfish guy? Manfish? North. Northeast of here is the Forest Haven. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. You heard of it, small fry? It emits a burst and it's decided on seven colors. Supposedly it's beautiful as a rainbow. If you want to capture one, you better keep putting it in your bottle. It's really weird that he says that. It's really weird that they didn't change what he says for this game because that fairy doesn't do anything in this game. In the original GameCube version, if you click that fairy and gave it to, um, I don't remember his name, the guy that does all the pictographs in Windfall Island, if you gave it to him, he would change your camera and allow you to take colored pictures with it. But in this game, you just got to do a side quest, and then he gives that to you. It's really weird. Anyways, this island's really, like I said, is really uh, momentous to me as well, is because it's really memorable. And memorable is, I guess, the word I was looking for. Though they're not momentous. I don't think that's even a word. Um, the next episode, we'll explore this tiny looking island, even though there's a few things for us to do here. And then we might even finish... Oh, we probably are going to finish exploring the rest of the map. That's crazy. Hmm. Cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.